Hi there, my name's Mary and this is Hamid. And this is Muhammad Ali. Hi. And they've come out from uh, Pakistan, but they're originally their family from Afghanistan. The yeah, there's the rooster. <laughs> Around here. Okay, we'll go and have a look at the, the chicken chickens. houses we made. Oh yeah. <laughs> See the bees? There's not so many coming out. No, really? there was lots of bees over there before. Yeah. Okay. So from childhood, <laughs> that's when I started being really interested in other cultures and people's needs that need to be met. We used to do jobs at home like cleaning the car and getting the firewood in and we'd get pocket money and so we had to put a little bit of our pocket money into the good cause box. I happened to come across this when mum passed away and she still had this from when we were kids. So this was going to Corso, the Lepers, Save the Children Fund, those sort of things. So they started off, off on the right track with um, thinking of other people and bigger needs. Then um, I did my nursing training, as you know, and I was about 30. Then I really wanted to work with refugees. And so um, I went over to Australia and worked in Outback Australia with Aboriginal people in Fitzroy Crossing. So that was a massive experience. And um, then when I came back to New Zealand, I thought, oh, I can't work with refugees overseas. It's not going to work out. And I thought, um, I saw an advert in the paper about Red Cross and working with refugees. And so I did the training and that's how I've ended up today, working with uh, first another family and then these guys' family. Hamid and Muhammad Ali helped us make this one. All we did have to buy was the um, netting. And so in here, these chickens are about six weeks old, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> They've gotten really big, they have got their feathers now. They've got little small, like, yeah, yeah. they all like, like yellow. Yeah. On a practical sense, you have to introduce them, like they stay in Mangare for six weeks in their initial orientation to New Zealand. And then when they come out, they do, um, they have to be taken to the doctors, shown, registered with doctors, registered with schools, um, shown how to use the bus helping with the English, helping them with going to the grocery shop. Do you remember any of all this, Hamid? No. <laughs> it was five years ago since they were there. And so um, a lot of those sort of general tasks that we all take for granted. So that sort of makes a difference. But the big thing in making a difference is actually being there and spending time socially with them and, and involving them in your own life. So these guys come out and like every weekend we do activities and stuff and like we hang out a bit together and going to sports and stuff. So I think just loving them as they are and um, getting involved in their lives and having them being involved in my life. There's our playground thing where we hung a, a tire in the tree. <laughs> we have different projects that we like to do in the weekends. Do you want to climb up on your platform? Yeah. <laughs> Righto. It's a tricky one, This is the platform they made. <laughs> so they dug the post holes and tacked it all together with some bits of old timber that we had lying around. There you guys. <laughs> I think you have to allow time because it takes a lot of time to go and do things. It always, you might think it's going to be two, but it's always four hours or something like that. And then there's such a reward, such a, a blessing in it. That's what I've learned is everyone's got so much to offer and the people who come out here are just amazing how they come out with just a suitcase and then they um, can do incredible things. You've been like a thousand olives. A thousand? No, like Oh, yeah. no, no, actually we got 300 kilos last year, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we picked them and we got them pressed into olive oil. Cool. You got so many. And your mum got some and your, all the people who came got some, didn't they? Yeah, I got <laughs> You talk about finding that sweet spot, and I guess um, I do. I've always loved foreign cultures. I've loved finding out more about different people. And I found from working with the refugees, it has just been such a lot of feedback and a blessing for my life as well. So they bring a lot of colour and joy into my life and a whole lot of different ways of doing things and so it's just fascinating. I do find this is really where I get 
a huge amount of feedback and, and just a huge amount of love from the community and being involved in so many other ways with so many other different people and not just the refugee community but also with other people. You know, like in Matthew 25 it says, um, whatever you do for the least of these, inviting strangers and in, you're doing for me. I think it's important to remember that and loving your neighbour as yourself, just making sure that you love other people. And it's such a blessing in return.